Hey everybody! So this is the fifth episode of our series How to create a web application with Databic. In the first episode, we have developed a simple sales management application in 25 minutes without any coding. In the second, third and fourth episodes, we improved the application using some advanced Databic features. Calculated fields, custom functions and hooks. In this episode, we are talking about views. Um, this episode is a little bit more generic respect to the others. It's not focused on the sales management application we built. Uh, views are something that can be useful in many situations when you develop uh, uh, database applications. And I would like to show you four typical cases. Uh, actually, views can also be useful in general when you are working with relational databases, not only with Databic. Okay, but so what is a view, actually? Um, for the moment, let's think about uh, uh, a view as a virtual table based on a real table. It's not a correct definition, but let's stay with that for, for the moment. Um, let's say we have a real table customers containing all our customers. Okay, uh, what if you want to see only our Italian customers? It's easy. We can search from the advanced search form or from the top filters. Okay, and that's okay. But if we need to access uh, very frequently the list of our Italian customers, instead of executing the search all the time, we can create a view. Um, please note that you need to know some SQL to work with views, because views are created using SQL. Uh, I'm thinking about publishing also uh, a basic SQL tutorial but for the moment, you have to learn SQL somewhere else. Anyway, some of the things we are going to discuss in this tutorial are quite basic, so probably you can follow it even if you don't know SQL. So, if you want to create a view containing only your Italian customers, you should execute this SQL query create view customers Italy as select asterisk from customers where country equals to Italy. So customers Italy is the name of the view. Uh, select asterisk as you probably know means select all the columns from the table customers but only for the rows where the field country is equal to Italy. All right, so that's why we have where country equals to Italy. Uh, so do you remember what we said about views? We say that uh, they are just like virtual tables. So now we can use customers Italy as it was a table, even if it is not and it contains only the Italian customers. Uh, we can install it in Databic and use it in our application. Uh, to be honest, we can have some limitations respect to a real table, but let's talk about it later. Okay? So, um, let me show what happens if I execute this query in my SQL Workbench. You actually don't need MySQL Workbench, but we'll see it later. Uh, okay, let's execute the query. And uh, we create uh, the view. And then uh, we select uh, asterisk from customers Italy. And this second query shows me only the Italian customers as expected. So, why this is not a real table? We say this is not a real table, it's not a real table. Why? 
because our DBMS, Database Management System, for this view doesn't store the customer's records. It only stores the query I used to define the view. That was select asterisk from customers where country equals to Italy. So every time I access uh, um, customers Italy, behind the scenes uh, the DBMS executes the query select asterisk from customers where country equals to Italy and get the results. So this also means uh, this also means that if I update uh, customers, uh, so the real, let's say the real table, uh, for example, I change the name of a customer, the view customers Italy is automatically updated as well. Because again, when I access the view customers Italy, I'm actually accessing the table, the real table customers. Okay. Um, as I already said, the, the good news is that in a database application you can install and use a view exactly as you do with the table. So after having created a view, you can install it and database will create the usual forms uh, as it does for uh, tables, basically. Uh, you can also uh, set permissions. Uh, uh, um, you can change the field settings uh, using the form configuration uh, configurator uh, as usual, and so on and so forth. Okay, so let's make an example. Uh, first scenario, the most typical use of views in a database application is for adding a filtered version of a table to your menu. For example, again, I have the customers table, I can, if I want, access this table and search for the Italian customers. But since I need this information quite frequently, um, I want to add an Italian customers view uh, to my menu. Okay. So first of all, we um, we have to actually create the view. Uh, since Databic 8, you don't need to leave the Databic interface to create a view. So edit. Pages, create view, and we create the view. All right. Uh, now the view will be in the other not installed views section. We can install it, and starting from now, the view can be used in our database application. The only thing that can be tricky is that after the installation, we need to set a unique field of the view. Why? Uh, as you probably know, Databic needs to fully work for each table, uh, what we call the unique field. It's a field that uniquely uh, identifies, represents each record of the table. For example, a customer code for the table customers. So normally, this field is the primary key of the table, and Databic automatically recognizes, recognizes the, the, the field when you uh, install a table. So you don't have to do anything. But since views uh, don't have a proper primary key, Databic cannot automatically set the unique field. Uh, so we need to select the field by ourselves. So which is the field that uniquely identify uh, each record in this uh, view? Of course, uh, it's uh, ID customer, all right? Okay, so since we set grant permissions after table installation equals to two in uh, uh, config.php, all the permissions were already granted to the admin group. So we should already see the view in our menu. That's right. All right, um, as you can see, only the Italian, uh, I mean, the view is in the menu and only the Italian customers are displayed when I click on the menu item. Uh, a couple of things. 
Uh, first, uh, we should change the name, and second, uh, uh, we should apply to the fields the same settings uh, we apply to customers. So, let's go back to the uh, edit section. So, okay, um, first of all, we change uh, the name uh, of, the, of the view, the alias, let's say. Uh, then, uh, do we need to go through uh, form configurator and adjust all the settings uh, for the fields as we did for uh, the customers tables, even for customers uh, Italy? Fortunately, not. Since uh, customers and customers Italy contain exactly the same fields, uh, uh, the columns are, are the same, right? In fact, uh, if you remember, we uh, define the view with a select asterisks, all the columns. Um, so we can copy the, the settings uh, from uh, customers. And uh, let's see the results. Very good. Of course, uh, if I change a record uh, in the customers table, the record is changed uh, in, the, in the view as well, as you uh, can uh, guess. Uh, and, of course, I can add as many views as I want, all based on the customers' tables. A table. For example, uh, uh, German customers, uh, uh, French customers, uh, US customers, uh, okay? So, using the same process, uh, I created other views, other filtered versions of the table customers. And uh, uh, I can uh, to uh, to keep my menu uh, clean, put them into a folder that I call something like uh, uh, country filters, and I can add a separator as well. So here is the uh, result. All right. And uh, let's see some other examples. Uh, here, for example, I create a view containing the products that need to be reordered, all right? Quantity product uh, uh, less than 10. Uh, so sometimes it can happen that you don't need uh, to filter the table. You just need to sort records. For example, I can create two additional versions of customers. One ordered, uh, sorted by last name, the other sorted by um, registration date. And here are the two uh, SQL uh, create view statements uh, that you should uh, use. So first time order by last name customer, second time order by registration date customer. As you can see here, we don't have any where close because we don't want to filter records. We want all the records that are in the uh, customer's table. Okay. Okay. Um, sometimes uh, you actually don't even need the, the original table in your application. You just need the view or the views. Um, let's make an example. Let's say we have a table sales having a status field. All right, so the status can be quote or order. So we have just one table, uh, a table sales, and when you register a new, co a new quote, you will, um, you fill all the information and the status uh, of the record is quote. At some point, if and when the quote becomes an order, you just change the status, but the record is always the same and it is in the table sales, okay? So, you can create two views, quotes and orders, based on the table sales, all right? Uh, in the first case, we have where status sale equals to quote, in the second uh, case, where status sale equals to order. All right. Uh, in this situation, you could also keep out of your database application the table sales. So 
the regional table sales uh, will be uh, won't be in your menu and uh, you can keep in the menu only the views quotes and orders as you can see here and this brings to a question uh, you might say uh, I actually need the table because that's the only way to insert records I cannot insert records in a view um, actually this is a common misconception in many cases you can execute insert update and delete operations even on a view and your DBMS automatically executes the operation on the related table and that's awesome so if I insert an order I'm using the orders view here okay let me show you an example and the DBMS actually inserts a record in the table sales which is the table the view order is based on okay to prove that I'm not lying if I open the table sales in MySQL Workbench, I can see the order I've just registered in Databic. Okay, so is a view always uh, updatable? You can always uh, uh, insert, uh, uh, delete, uh, and modify records uh, in a view directly in a view. No, each DBMS has specific rules about it. For MySQL, for a view to be updatable, there must be a one-to-one -one relationship between the rows in the view and the rows in the underlying table. So, for example, if your view contain an SQL group by statement, you cannot insert new records, and it makes sense. Uh, the same happens if your view uh, contains your, if your view definition contains left and right joins all right um, there are some rules to respect if you don't know what a group by statement or an sql join is well for the moment just think that views that are uh, let's say more complicated than the one we have just seen might be not updatable okay um, how about uh, PostgreSQL? PostgreSQL is similar to MySQL from this point of view. Uh, in SQLite, instead, the views are not updatable, but you have the uh, instead of triggers that can do actually a similar job. I leave in the description of the, of the video the links to the relevant MySQL, PostgreSQL, and SQLite documentation explaining when a view is updatable. Okay, that's it. Uh, if you have any question, you can add a comment uh, to this video, or if you are a customer, of course, uh, you can use uh, the support forum or the support email. In this episode, we have seen uh, one typical use of views in database applications, in the next videos, uh, we are going to see other three typical uses. Alright, so see you next time. Ciao!